Hi, I'm Jim Terrell, founder of Quick Blade Paddles, and also the designer and builder of this flume, the Quick Blade Paddle Flume. And I'm going to explain to you why it was designed, what we use it for, and uh, it's really becoming a popular item at the uh, Quick Blade uh, training facility here. Um, so the pool is uh, fabricated out of fiberglass. It's about 14 feet in diameter. It's a donut-shaped uh, flume and the water is two feet deep and it flows around in a circle and it's uh, accelerated by this small electric motor but with four people in here paddling uh, there's no need for the motor it gets to go on about the right speed but uh, people ask you know Jimmy you live in Southern California why a flume you know when you were out of outdoors well of course I'd rather paddle outdoors but you can't accomplish outdoors what we can accomplish in here in the flume uh, as you can see we have a lot of mirrors and uh, you can paddle if I'm in this station here, you can have up to four people paddling at a time. And as you're paddling here, you can look straight ahead to see your front view and your side view, which is projected by the mirrors on the side, straight ahead. And you can also see your back view that's being reflected from a mirror that's angled from behind you here. But it's really good to watch your technique. You can see your side view as well as your front view, the angle of the paddle, the extension, your hip position, your shoulders. And if I'm t instructing somebody on the flute here, I can physically get in here, explain to them what I'm talking about, and they can see it live, versus the other way where you can uh, go along in a motorboat or film from the side, someone paddling, and you can play it back to them. But by the time they get that information, go back and try and correct it on the water, it's too late. Well, with this, it's, it's on-time visual uh, experience that allows you to be able to like, correct your technique as you're paddling. Um, so it's a nice thing, you can come in and you can uh, take a session with just one person and have my one-on-one -on -one attention, or we just had a session the other day with three people, up to four people. You can have a person paddling here, and another person paddling here, and another person paddling here. And you get different views of yourself in the mirrors in different positions. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, a lot of people ask, well, can't you, uh, now you can only paddle on one side. But the thing is, we can turn the motor around, we can reverse the water, go the other direction, and within two minutes, we can reverse the direction, you can paddle on the left. But what I like to do is focus on one side at a time, and really get that dialed in, and then go to the other side. Um, during a training session, when, when I get in here and once I'm just training, you can easily just jump from the inside to the outside, and you can paddle the left side, you know, from outside the tank. So you are able to paddle the left side, Quick step out the inside. You can switch sides this way. So we'll do interval training sometimes. And you can see we've got a uh, pull-up bar in here too. So we can incorporate some pull-ups into the workout. And a number of uh, stations that we do on the side of the tank as well. It's, it's primarily used for dialing your technique. It's good for beginners. You know, everything from, you know, as a beginner, we've all seen it with a person with the paddle backwards. You know, to how you stand, learning to rotate the hips, the shoulders, and really, you know, giving a beginner the basics versus an expert. You know, some of our team riders come in here just to be able to watch themselves how, you know, a lot of times you think you're doing one thing, but when you actually look at yourself, you realize that you're doing something weird with your, your hips or your body that you, you, you didn't think you did. So, so it's become a really valuable tool for us for training. And then uh, another thing we use it for is we do a lot of testing of the blades here. A lot of people want to, Feel the difference between a 90, a 100, or a 110 blade, and you can change out a paddle on the fly and just feel you know, exactly the difference. So, um, so it's useful for that as well. But uh, yeah, we're getting good feedback, and uh, some people seem to be walking away with a pretty uh, unique experience paddling in the flume. So I'm excited about it.